cold. I wonder how the penguins in Antarctica stay warm. Let's find out. Antarctica is a landmass, mostly covered by ice. It is the coldest continent on Earth. Emperor penguins are the only animal to inhabit the open ice of Antarctica during the winter. To survive this extremely cold climate, the penguins have several adaptations. It's amazing what we can learn at the Tasmanian Museum about how emperor penguins stay warm. We can see from this real example, penguins stay warm with special feathers and down. Those feathers are so dense. They overlap creating a protective thick surface to insulate them in Antarctic conditions. Penguins have a fatty layer under their skin called blubber. It sits below the epidermis and dermis. 30% of a penguin's body weight is blubber. This is especially important as in Antarctica, the temperature can get between minus 10 and minus 60 degrees Celsius. So we will prepare two bowls of equal temperature with cold water and ice to represent the water penguins swim in. We will then submerge our hands and a thermometer in plastic bags into the water. One bag has a layer of closer in it to represent blubber. The thermometer in the blubber remained at 24 degrees Celsius, while the one without dropped to zero degrees, proving blubber is effective as an insulator. Penguins keep warm using an amazing process called counter current heat exchange. Warm blood is pumped through their arteries into their cold feet, flippers and nose. The cold blood comes back through their veins via the rest in the lab lay where the blood is heated by running close to the warm blood coming from the arteries. Big penguins being warmer. Emperor penguins are the largest penguins on Earth. At 1.3 metres tall, compared to the smallest, fairy penguins that live in the warm waters of Australia and only go to 33 centimetres. That's a huge size difference. The larger the penguin, the smaller the surface area to volume ratio and less relative area to lose heat. Penguins huddle in large groups to keep warm. This is a behavioural adaptation. We performed an experiment to simulate how huddling works. We used test tubes and water alone and huddled together and measured their temperatures. Test tubes retain heat when huddled together compared to test tubes standing alone. The test tubes standing alone dropped from 41 to 28 degrees, while those huddled together were 10 degrees warmer. Penguins have many adaptations to keep warm. Feathers and down, blubber, counter heat exchange, size, but our favourite is huddling! Icy cold, toasty